The biggest difference in this video is that usually my videos are really scripted, and this time I'm just kind of saying stuff that comes off the top of my head, and you know, we'll see how this turns out. I'm in the Saturday market in Portland, Oregon right now. I'm on my way to a training on uh, doing audio for video. Last week I went to one on uh, lighting, which was really interesting. I'm, fasc I'm fascinated with lighting of YouTube videos. I like to watch the different lighting of the different videos, and some people do really interesting stuff. You can tell they put a lot of work into it, and some people just kind of shoot it from wherever it is, no matter how dark or light, and you can really tell a difference. So I'm trying to learn more about that. I'm shooting this video outside of my studio, if you can call what I've got a studio, to test out the different kinds of lighting and ambient sounds and seeing what kinds of things would make a video difficult to do outside of a controlled area. So we'll see how this thing turns out. I don't even know if this is going to be good enough to put on YouTube, but I'm going to play around with it and see what I end up with. I'm making up the content of this video as I'm wandering around town and I'm wondering if I'm going to be able to edit it into anything that makes any kind of sense at all. I think the most difficult part about shooting video out in the, out in the world is you feel like such a fool holding a camera in your face while everybody else is walking by. By training on sound, they said, said you should really avoid places that have a, a lot of ambient sounds like uh, rest stops, which is where I am right now, so I figured I would do this little video to see if they were right and this is unusable. We'll find out. Okay, I'm going to wrap this video up now, so why don't you make some comments about your experiences in making videos in different environments, and while you're at it, why don't you subscribe to my channel?